Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, there, right. I'm gasping. I'm fucking gasping. And my man had to try and calm me down. I was like, you just let our sister get murdered, you yeah. bump. <laughs> How do you say that fucking name again? Am I flaced? <laughs> <laughs> You're a spelly amethyst. Your tongue's haunted. I'm a a amethyst realm. <laughs> amethyst realm. <laughs> Amethyst. And he's a death. When you can't be fucked. <laughs> shagging your way. Who, Who are you, you gonna, gonna call? Go? Ghost Slater. <laughs> then all of a sudden he's flown out of my bed and across the room about seven foot head first into my wardrobe. <laughs> When I started Bro, screaming, I'm like, you can't read it. You can't read a like, ghost story with him going, in the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking ghost in the wardrobe, lad. <laughs> and then fucking uh, velour pants, you can't hide that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a fucking turn farmer's cop gets turned gay by a ghost. <laughs> Come and make son back! <laughs> It's Bomb Squad! Bomb Squad! It's Bomb Squad episode 31! The Halloween special! Out on the 31st of October, maybe the 30th, can't remember. <laughs> Joining me today, Prince Live from the Grave. It's me, James Bond! <laughs> So spooky. So spooky. <laughs> so spooky. And then we just talk about shitting again for fucking an hour. To be fair, if you were in a gaff and it was a cold, dark night and you were in it with Tom, with Tyson Fury and uh, Prince, you would shit the nags. Like. Uh, if you're on cat or something, <laughs> you'd be like, what the fuck is going on here? What is going on here? Don't be so stingy with a cat. Sorry, what the white is it? I don't even know what this white face paint looks like. You well, put it on me and you were staring in my eyes. Eh? Yeah. You fucking there took the air somebody too. <laughs> the Irish or the Irish? The Irish. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to name beard. two Prince songs. Uh, Purple Rain, Purple Rain Acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an encyclopedia. <laughs> he knows all the songs of Prince. In fact, yeah, Tyson Fury would be the type of guy that would start singing Prince. Yeah. Like purple red, purple red, and everyone has to just sit after the boxing match, wait for him to finish the whole song. Solo. She's a Go. long one too. No, she's a long one. She's up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves on to if, here. If you like this podcast, get a Neela. If you like, Sorry. if if you like hearing this podcast and you want to hear it twice a week, get over on the patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad. Fucking pod, you know what I mean? Live podcasts, specials, things like that, all up there. Mount the content. Mount the content. You'll never claim it today. And if you haven't been on that Patreon yet, you get on now. You've got 30 odd episodes fucking to get through. Right. You have a month. You have a month of it. Every fucking Full vault to go through. Every this. day of the week. Were you sweating under that? A wee bit, eh? That's right. I'm actually getting tired. Get on that Patreon. Patreon.com slash bomb squad pod. <laughs> Who's this? Our guest today, Shane Todd. <laughs> now, this is a Halloween episode. We, we've spent the morning. Um, it's spooky. I'm going to keep doing that. The X That's the X Files, isn't it? Uh, so the X Factor. <laughs> the X Files. Um, we we did, we had to go get outfits. I already had this one from the weekend. We had a wee yeah. pre Halloween party. Yeah. And we got some uh, street legal fireworks, and we're standing out in the pissing cold, and they were they were so pathetic and small. I was like, we could have done this inside. Yeah, the fireworks are rarely like the ones you get for the house that you're letting off. They're rarely like a real spectacle. No, it was, a, it was a sparkly quaff. Yeah, <laughs> it was like everyone standing around. It's good. <laughs> Sparkers used to fucking blow the my mind whenever I was younger. Like you know, you just sit there and fucking uh, throw the first letter in your name or something like that. Yeah, magic, magic. Get that long exposure. What is it? Oh yeah. Yeah. You can write your name. One good thing. Oh about yeah, we've been lectured about. You, you need to speak more in the mic. Ah fuck off. Oh, you see, that's <laughs> why. Like that. That's why we don't let him have a mic. <laughs> He, 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 he's cranky. I just discovered today too. Speaking of spooky, Nyla's a fucking rump him. I was bent over putting that bulb in. You, 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 you never put the bulb in. Then you tore the cards off him. <laughs> and you and them and them fucking uh, velour pants. You can't hide that bulb. Fucking misleading as fuck, by the way. Purple too, veins. <laughs> the way they had in the shop too. This looked like a like an actual shirt. It was just uh, a wee dinner, bub. 
you know? Aye, a couple of hotties, not we went to Elliot's, the legendary Elliot's, Aye. which is more of an Argos setup. I thought it was going to be like, uh, you know, per, you know, like a sex shop, you know, you get to look around. Yeah. Go, hmm. yeah. But you just go in and fucking go into the presets and be like, I'll take that one. Yeah. A few risky numbers in there now. Aye, a few oh, ones have you, uh, you know. Have you haven't dated well? Haven't aged well? No. Mexican? Mexican? Aye. <laughs> just an old blanket and a priest. One of them just said black fella. Aye. <laughs> No, it was like no, that was black morph suit. You could get, yeah, you could get the fucking, uh, you know, the Arab getup. Yeah, you know, the white thing with the the headdress. Uh, I one of them was literally just Arab terrorist. Was it? Yeah, that's what the description was. Jesus Christ, cancelled, cancelled. You could buy a big, you could be a big eggplant. You could yeah. be a big walking cock. Ah, oh, there was a few now ones that you know they're pretty safe. Yeah, hot dog. That's it, always a fun one. Hot dog would have been fun. Yeah. What was your second option if you weren't going for that? Literally, the Prince came on the first page, and I was like, "This is probably it." Yeah, you know, it just uh, it chose you. I, it really did. It's, it spoke to me. It spoke to you. Yeah. You know? And then uh, I the was one at, song. I was outside the shop and a parking. What do you call him? Attendant. Mm-hmm. What, do you, what do you call him? People. Warden. Par- parking ward. Traffic warden. Traffic warden. Came up to me and he's like, "Right, mate. No, I was going to go to your show, but I was in Disneyland and all." And I was like, well, "Fuck flex. off." No, <laughs> but uh, he was in the he was in the traffic warden gear, and I was like, uh, "You've got the best costume in here, lot." <laughs> A fucking bit of a laugh, and I was like, "You ever fucking come near my car?" <laughs> you know? Do you love it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love the crack. Like you know what I mean? You but won't it, get that, doesn't you? Right, well, no. uh, I I've went for uh, the Tyson Fury look. Yes, and I put this. Sh- I ordered this off Amazon. Ordered at twelve o'clock at night. It was there at half nine the next morning. It, it is the season. What, what was I mean? the description for the shirt? Uh, luxury shirt. Nice. There was like different versions. I think it's like a fake Versace. Yeah. But I, I was gonna, I was gonna go all open tits, right? And because uh, me and me and Tyson Fury have a similar physique, give or take two feet of yeah. height. But you know we're both absolute white puddings, and uh, <laughs> I was, I was shaving the beard a bit. You know, I was trying to line it up a wee bit, get the underbite going. You know what I mean? Cut from a different cloth. Yeah. You know? And uh, from a long line of fighting men, <laughs> and uh, I got, I got it. I was about to shave the tits as well. Uh huh. This is them shaved. That's a shaved tit. That's shaved diddies? That's shaved dids. You should have saved that for the Patreon. It was fucking, it That's... was long before that, but, and then I was doing the beard a bit, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take into the tits here. And Maureen was like, do it in the shower. Do it in the shower, because at least, you know, it's, it's on a shiny surface, and we'll wash it away. Yeah. So I'm in there fucking, bang, shaving all the tits and all. And then I turn around to the sink again to like shave my head, and I turn back. Maureen has the Henry the Hoover in the shower tray. <laughs> She's in the fucking in the glass cube, like uh, that's some line for Henry too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Henry's face went from that to like <laughs> no, not the back pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Henry gets a rough day. Like I, I have she, no back pubes. They stink. What? You, like you know that pubes can smell. Like the back pubes stink. No, at all. No. Why are pubes smell? Well, like, you know, your pubes can smell. Like, your genitalia pubes Uh, uh, have an essence. (laughs) You know? Yeah. Have an essence. Have an essence. (laughs) (laughs) Wake me up. (laughs) Yeah, it stinks because it's your cock. Yeah. Not not because it's hair. Well, my back and cock smell identical. (laughs) What? Stop <laughs> Cover yourself up, woman! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You got a loose tent. Oh, just, that's not and there was more hair on the floor of my fucking shower than there is in your tents right now. <laughs> and it was your fucks. I'm like an otter. You're looking at a gruffalo. Gruffalo, exactly. That's <laughs> right. There we go. So there's no. It's a backless one, is my it? Pubs, no, I, I tied it around myself. But if you, <laughs> by the way, sir, you're one of those self-conscious about the gut. Try tying this around it because you just feel the strength just. Pierce it against you. Uh, You're like, oh, this is going to come out. You basically. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to paint your tits white as no. well? <laughs> I got it. No, save that for the painter. <laughs> save it for the painter. Saucy content. Uh, yes, they get that spicy content over in the Patreon. <laughs> is that you back to normal? Yeah, Velcro up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, talk me through your childhood Halloween experiences. What, what does Halloween mean? Do you like it? <laughs> I did, I was fond of a bit of old trick or treat, I? To be fair. Yeah? You know, and you always knew the houses too that had the good shit, you know? Uh-huh. So living on a park, year by year, it would stay the same, you know? You knew that fucking so-and-so down there had a lot of kids, so they'd always have their things stacked up. The worst one to go to, though, is an elderly couple where the kids are gone and raised. Yeah. They will give you fuck all. Yeah. They wouldn't and give you the one that they're fart the bastards. Oh, uh, <laughs> the cooler shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fucking uh, they wouldn't give you soup too no, as, they, well, as they, they, this is what happens to old people the, the babies hits them the heart issues yeah all the fun goes out the window oh my wow. granny's the same like the hack thing is like you know you get an apple you legit you would get a load of apples at certain houses in Canal. But then the thing with my park is too, like there's a wake every week. So, you know, fucking with your trick or treating, obviously you're going to get not great content. You'd have to go to maybe a park down or something. A park down? Yeah. I like, like the way you call them parks. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember the day I went into my granny's with like cake or something. She was like, I can't eat that anymore. Fun is over for me. <laughs> But like Dave was saying you know, before the podcast, like, <laughs> did you did you just walk up and go trick or treat, or did you have to do the full Halloween is coming? What? And the, there's like the full song. There's a song. Go on YouTube there. Halloween song, trick or treating song. Trick or treat's very American, isn't it? Yeah. It they is. just want to get to the point. They, them fuck fuck kids. <laughs> they they just go up and they're like trick or treat, and they're like fill the bucket there. <laughs> you fat fuck. Halloween. What's the ideal trick or treat suite? Honestly, probably in a galaxy, you know, like an individual, like a celebration style galaxy. Individual, you can't be out there with loose sweets, can you? This one here, go on. Trick or treat, who are you? Is that's that not it? That's not it, bro. No, I never heard of that. But it was a game trick or treat, and then some people would say trick. You know. Oh and, uh, uh, yeah, and you're there going. I never thought about tricks. And as a seven year old, you're completely fucking shafted. Yeah, you're like, I don't know what to do now. Trick? I fuck, I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> You have not one of them fucking thumb thing. <laughs> but now we're that house. We we are what what I hated as a child. The shit house. Yeah. yeah. My mother doesn't have shit. No. You know, there's nothing going on there. Anything nice she's keeping. Nothing exciting going on there. You know. It is a weird time of year. Like I I can remember um, in our house. This is the type of household I grew up in. People like they, they would be. It, it was as if like debt collectors were after them. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad would be like, turn all the lights off. Pretend, yeah. we're, pretend we're not in. <laughs> Some wee kid just. Hello? Yeah. My dad's on the floor in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make any noise. Uh, they won't hear you. God forgive, we'll have fuck off. <laughs> forbid, we'll have to give him a bag of sweet. <laughs> Us with fucking duct tape on her mouth. <laughs> Hands tied behind her back. In the cubby hole. <laughs> so we buy a side dress with Tinky Winky. Yeah. Holding the whole house hostage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you never know who's out there. Maybe the window cleaner looking at my I guess the TV license man gonna run around your house at half eight at night. Like that's the that's the time. Yeah. That'll be the time to do it. Yeah, guy turns up dressed like a vampire. <laughs> Young Peter TV license. I track you here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not a treat for me. <laughs> you fucking bastard. That's a good idea. TV license <laughs> man running about in no, Halloween outfits as an outfit. Yeah. The TV license man, yeah. just go around every night and be like, yeah, I believe you haven't paid your TV license. Uh, I'm only joking. Yeah. Here's a packet of dimes. We used to go to uni and they would, they can like walk themselves into your house and inspect to see what kind of setup you got going on. I don't think they can, can they? Well, I remember one time in second year at uni, like we were like, no, we've just an Xbox. And then to be fair, it was short at the door, so we probably just invited them in. Uh, it was not that, look at that. I was uh, dead on. Yeah. And he's like, we still need to pay it. He's like, well, how about I pay the fuck idiot? <laughs> How's that for a deal? <laughs> ah. Yeah. I told, I've told on the podcast before, I got caught a crack a cracker at the house. The guy came up and he had the wee thing and he was like, all right, man, um, uh, is this number 74 or whatever? And I went, no, 75. And he went, yeah, you haven't paid your TV license. And I went, you fucking oh. bastard. You bastard. That's a sneaky bastard, that. Aye. Did you end up having to pay it? I always end up having to pay it, but uh, I always, it's only to stop the letters. Yeah. I wait till the, the letter goes red. Aye. Like, it, you know, you get the warning, then you get the other one, then they're like, we're coming to your house. And you're like, are you fucking spoof? Spoof. That is spoof. We'll see you in court now. But I, I, I'm away. I always wonder, is there like full criminals in a flat somewhere with like kilos of cocaine under the bed? Mm -hmm. And the, still the only threat they're getting legally is, <laughs> is their fucking TV license? Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, so, I, put the cocaine on top of our TV quick. Uh, <laughs> TV license, man, walking past like machetes covered in blood and fucking... <laughs> Guns and all, like yeah, that seems to be an illegal setup. Are you sure that's an Xbox? Just to watch, <laughs> watch Nolan, watch a Nolan documentary. I don't know because what TV are you watching these days anyway? Well, it's it's supposed to be for the one that you're you're paying a, you know, BBC and all ones with no ads. It, yeah. pre it pretty much is just BBC, isn't it? Must be fucking slags. Because I because they don't have a oh no they do have a streaming service. I was gonna say. 
But I'm watching ITV at the moment for Big Brother. Oh. Uh, I'm back in. I got sucked in. Get in that Halloween fucking uh, mood. Yeah. Big Brother is the one where, like, if you watch two to three episodes of that, you're sucked in. Sucked in. You're sucked into the abyss. Like, it is great entertainment. Like, any hotties on there? Oh, there is. I. There you always should, is a token hottie in Big Brother. You should go on the Pornhub there and type in, I think it was Dutch Big Brother. Aye. Uh, they had to bring them into the diary room and be like, can you stop fucking for 10 <laughs> minutes so we can make up an hour for, of a show? The diary room be a quality place to do it. Oh, yeah. You know? Just get your ass right. Shameless. Get your ass right in that camera. Right under the ring of it, just. <laughs> Big brother, can you take your sphincter away from camera, please? <laughs> in there, two busts. We, we were talking earlier about the your girl Sam on Big Brother, the trans one. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm getting the operation soon. As soon as the lights are out, pulling the fucking pudding clean off herself. <laughs> Underneath the sheets. Uh, yeah. I do they go nine now? I just feel like I'm a woman inside. <laughs> what do you think would piss you off most about the Big Brother experience? Well, piss me off? Uh, uh, just being in there with other people. Yeah. I'd love to see you in it. Just me alone and Big Brother. <laughs> Colin is away for his ninth wank of the day. I think people are wanking in there. Have They're just, to, they just, they just, like, they just obviously can't show that. Can they show that on TV? I know they did previously, but like, now it is, can they show someone pulling the wire themselves in a house? Like, um, no, but they probably see it. Like, yeah. It would be, uh, I think I would just, rather than try and be like, rather than hide it, you just, I, 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 you're going I, for I, a wank. I'd just be eyeballing the camera. Yeah. I'd be like, I, you just look after the shop in here. I'm away for a while. I'd be like, crash them. <laughs> and you've been there you know you've been there a long time so you'd be firing out some real custard like uh, you know I, I was thinking about that right now where are you at? like why are they why are these people sexually satisfying themselves oh you know probably not that's why they're getting rise no aye right enough it's just you a know? build up of cum <laughs> it's coming out of your ears like marshmallow paste <laughs> yeah. you do the fucking dishes I don't know you called in the diary room and you're like I'm sorry that I just have a bus in a while yeah <laughs> is, there a, is there a bus in there yeah? They should have a big brother bus scenario. Yeah, yeah. They absolutely should. Yeah, the shower. Is this yeah. Called, yeah. But they don't want you wanking. That's the thing. No. They, they want, want you to be full of that. Aye. So then you do get in the scuffs. Put it this way, I'd be taking a lot of shits. Mm. You know, oh, yeah. Collins away for another shite. Yeah. That's the only way to entertain yourself. There is a hot tub and all, but you think it's like that, too. Aye. It's like, hot, it's like owning a hot tub. You'd, be, you'd never be in it. And all them other dirty hairs fucking splashing and splashing in them too. Like. Ah, Jesus Christ. Fuck you'd that. think it's like... But they're allowing booze and all this year. They allowed them... Flat out. out. Well, you can't... If you put if you can voice your opinion that it should be in the shopping budget, you can buy booze. But they'll throw like wee parties and all. That's where it gets nasty. Uh, oh, why? They'll be like, do we need as much penny pasta? <laughs> or can I throw a lot of copperbergs in there? <laughs> it is mad though watching people decide a shopping list. And there's like 14 of them. Yeah. And like one person's like, you know, uh, cucumbers, what do you think there? And someone goes, get two. And then another person's like, two fucking cucumbers? I need one right now. Yeah. And you're like, what? Yeah. They haven't even got under the meat yet. Yeah, cucumber would be way down the list unless you were sticking it in your fucking doubt. <laughs> ah, ah, there we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're just first to the shopping queue. I need a watermelon. Yeah. Uh, 10 need, aubergines, please. I need a... <laughs> Need a tube of Pringles and raw chicken breasts. I can take or leave the Pringles. Dump the Pringles, to be honest with you. I'm basically spaffing in them. Sour cream is right. Anyway, what's your favourite Halloween movie? I love shite ones. I love, like, real dumb shite ones. Is that your YouTube series? Shite ones? Welcome back to shite ones. <laughs> There's one that's called... You eat uh, the wings off camera and then shite. The next five shites. You judge how spicy they are? <laughs> With Sean Evans? I would say, uh, I would say there's one called Prom Night, which is like remarkably shite. It's almost like Disney made a horror film, but yeah. I just can't stop watching it. You can't stop watching it? It's just a slasher it? film. like Dawn Till Dusk? I like, that's probably my favorite subgenre of horror movie. Good as slasher. Somebody running about with a knife just fucking taking a bad turn. <laughs> oh, he's on one. He's on one with a knife. <laughs> like scream's great, but then is it horror? Is that an argument? In the, uh, is it? Uh, uh, anything that gets parodied immediately doesn't yeah. tend to be that scary. Like yeah. the paranormal activities and shit, shit like that. There, the paranormal activity was one that blew what, my mind. What do you do? Do any of you remember the actual Blair Witch uh, sort of hype at the time? Oh yeah, yeah. I fell for it, big style. I I was scared to even watch it. As in, like people thought it was real. Yeah, 
because it looked like a you know homemade movie. I mean, to be fair, this is what, like, pre-internet? Like, just as internet's coming in? Uh, no, I remember at the time, you know, cause this is what they used to do. They used to show the fucking, you know, the cinema. Like, mm-hmm. like the old infrared camera in the cinema. Mm-hmm. And people like, <coughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> freaking out with a fucking plate of nachos in front of them. Yeah. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> in fact, I didn't watch Blair Witch till about three years after it when I knew it was fake. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't want that juju coming in through my <laughs> television. Killing me? Uh, you can't be taking juju in the Omniplex. Like. Nah, no juju for me. <laughs> you know? Said can you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I said say everyone in Palestine right now. <laughs> now uh, you get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> get to the chopping board. <laughs> get to the chopping room. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it freaked the fuck out of me. And then, and then, you know, three years later, when the hype died down, I was like, it's just standing in the corner. Yeah, is that it? To be fair, if they had a, if they had a released Paranormal Activity around that time, that would have been a fucking menace. But because Paranormal Activity was released whenever you know the internet's rife at this stage, everyone was able to go. You, you're clearly fucking dumb. This is oh, uh, a Hollywood production. Uh, but I remember watching it. Was freaky, dome. like you know the way in cinemas over here, people don't react mm-hmm. to things. And then in America, it's like every, oh, you know, it's like a Omar. pantomime. Yeah. You know, I remember at the Oma Cinema going to watch Paranormal Activity, like the first one, right? And literally that scene where the duvet moved, classic, like two girls got up and walked out. We're like, that's too much. That's too much for me. <laughs> I go home the night, my Hello Kitty duvet moves. But I was like, why would you leave with the scary part? Like, sure, you want to see the conclusion, you know? See if there's a happy end to it all. Is there? I don't think so, no. no. There rarely is in horror films, you yeah. know? They'll you just, don't want one. They'll just die. Aye. I don't think anything that's like, you know, like a monster. Aye. Nah, fucking not scared. I agree. I'd, t- I'd turn and fight a monster in my house. Aye. You know, what the fuck you boss Aye. You could take a monster, I'd say. <laughs> I can't drink a ten of monster. <laughs> I have a fucking stroke, but I'll fight a monster in the in the hallway of my house. I take her to the bed, just fucking ground and pound it. I thought there was a monster in my house last night, but it turned out it was just my own son banging a gate, <laughs> banging a baby gate. I guess we were both saying we both woke up at like, you know, in the middle of the night, just like, yeah, you know. I woke up and he just slamming the baby gate and I was like, oh my God. Got my machete and a hammer. Yeah. Ran into the hallway and was like, you fucking bastard, you. You're had you. Being a full fist fight with a three-year-old. There's nothing like just waking up in the middle of the night and just like being like, <gasps> Jesus Christ, and then going back to sleep. You know, yeah, there is a, there is that nice period though when you wake up and you you're like, mm, aye, I'm not dead. Yeah, <laughs> like one of them. <laughs> no, I've never done that now. You know, you ever been shocked in the wank? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a good cure, I suppose. Like, but no, I couldn't. I I can't do it. I have to go straight back to sleep. Yeah, or get up and gla- get a, a glass of night water. I I take water to bed like. Like I'm fo- like I'm sleeping in the fucking Sahara. Oh, I. I mean, uh, beside my bed is like fucking just the end of the night in a pub. I will have a two litre of Bali guy and just sitting there every night. Like, and you still have to get up. Well, like I'll just get up and like fucking like chug it, and go back to bed. You're not supposed to do that. Huberman said that. Why? Because it's like a primal reflex that you're like, <gasps> you know that sort of feeling. Uh huh. You're not supposed to chug. You're supposed to sip. Oh, what are you? What are you? <laughs> fucking scientist. For the shade. No. <laughs> What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? I remember a time period where MTV actually showed films, and it was like a Halloween. It was like a Halloween special where they were showing like the full weekend. They were showing all the Midnight in Elm Streets, and I, I fuck, I must Night, have Nightmare been. in Elm Street. Aye, <laughs> Midnight in Elm Street. <laughs> What's that? Rock band or something? Um, <laughs> I, Yo, Midnight in Elm Street. I watched it. <laughs> Woo! I watched Nightmare on Elm Street, <laughs> and uh, it was the it was the Freddy it was the Freddy Krueger one where he had got some guy that was a puppeteer, and the guy had a dream, and he used all his veins and arteries yeah. as puppet strings. And I tell you what, I shit, I shit, <laughs> I was fucking terrified. That's the one pushed me over the edge too, because yeah. we had about I don't know why we, you know we had a TV stand that held like about eight VHS tapes on either side, and it was the weirdest mix of shite mm-hmm. you've ever seen. <clears throat> one of them was uh, one of them was like a Pink Floyd one because remember the your guy on fire, you know you know that cover, and then 
one of them was Nightmare on Elm Street, and I, people were just like, people, my parents were like, don't fucking watch that. And of course, I was like, I won't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how old were you, Bob? Like, roughly? Oh, God. I think I had, Rachel was probably like six or seven. Yeah. That's around the same age I saw, too. And then, and then the second they weren't looking, I was like, fucking, you know, take a bit of toast out of the VHS, stick the tape in. Yeah. Regret? Yeah. Instant regret. Oh, yeah. I remember that same scene. Guys on like a bed in hell. Yeah. The flames are coming up, but there is a set of titties in there. I remember that. Yeah. I remember seeing a set of titties. So I was a wrecked and scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was tits in it. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. There was tits Thank in God it. for the tits. Thank God. You snapped me. Take the edge off it. But yeah, after that. And then that was the thing. After that, went to like a circus. Mm. It was in town at the Valley Leisure Center. Shout out. And, uh, they had all like horror people, you know, like horror characters. Mm -hmm. I can't say that horror characters. Yeah, and one of them was Freddy Krueger, and I near fuck. I was oh, like, no. I was like, get me in that cage with a lion. I'm not fucking PTSD hangin'. Oh god, and they had the light show and all. You know, the, the lights went down. Well, the good scary. Thing, the good thing about seeing that on MTV was directly after they were playing Flavor of Love. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, okay. Directly after previewing a Cisco video, <laughs> the words actually ground. <laughs> But I haven't had that. What is it with like, like I I don't know if this is fucking a weird thing or not. But what is it with grown adult men who are like legit terrified of horror films? I think they just don't want to feel vulnerable. What do you mean, like look scared? Yeah, like I I don't like that feeling of you know where people love an old jumpy movie. Aye. I don't like it. Yeah, because I'm like I'm trying to sell. I remember watching The Conjuring, in the in laws' house they got a projector, and they put that on the bit with the, all the fucking frames fall off the wall and i was like does anyone want a cup of tea <laughs> had to play it off you know <laughs> ah, i'm going to the toilet here hold on a minute i, I think i literally made tea that's a great way I, to get I, tried, yeah, I tried to work it out oh, i'm dying for a cup of tea anyone else <laughs> piss staying on my fucking trousers <laughs> yeah. he was like i'm gay yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gay, man. <laughs> i kiss boys i have, uh, have to go <laughs> yeah, she's trying to deflect. <laughs> <laughs> I need shit. Oh my god! But I, I don't like that. I don't mind an old spooky one, but see all the jumpy shit. Like you no, know, it goes someone, deeper, though. someone opens the fridge, closes the fridge door, something behind the fridge. All of a sudden, uh, fuck, fuck off. Well, there's a head in the fridge, right beside the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! I haven't touched a brick of Dromoto since. <laughs> Yeah, don't go. Someone's always in the fridge in the middle of a horror scene. <laughs> Creepy noise. I do think I'm like, in this fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And they're like, stew and meat? Fucking happy dish. Take out the butter bread. <laughs> stew and meat? <laughs> what sort of medieval dishes you eat in your house? <laughs> King fruit, man. King fruit. <laughs> ah, stewing meat. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I do think though they could make like a legit good like Love horror film in like Tyrone. Stew and meat. <laughs> Like if you had like a farmer that was on like a fucking murder spree or zombie farmer or something like this. I don't know. There's a, there's a couple of places I'll take Eddie for a walk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is creepy as all fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, an old abandoned quarry that's filled up with water and shit. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Any forest Full after up. the watershed? Full up Terrifying. Up <laughs> yeah, totally. Any forest at all. Yeah. Or like, you know, like the way seaside towns, they have all the like happy graffiti and stuff. Yeah. That there, now time is fucking freaky. That's a good place to shoot it from. Mm. Have you ever been on the beach at night? <laughs> yes. It's quite scary too. It Live, is quite scary. You know, sloshing about. Do you, you ever uh, have any paranormal activity when you were a kid? Nothing really. Like we, But we weren't seeking it. Yeah. You know, we weren't out there making Ouija boards and stuff like that. I had a couple, of, mate. I had a couple of mates who were, you know, into the occult. You know. Aye. Of Ouija's? <laughs> Ouija's? Aye, these we're like, we're going to do a Ouija board. And I was like, I'm going on the way home there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dinner's ready. Oh, fucking. <laughs> uh, but there was, a, there was a few, like, fucking, you know, f you know. Come on, we'll go into this abandoned shed or something. And I, I'm like, oh. hi, boys, I'll keep watch. See, young Hello. lads, they love an abandoned warehouse. Oh. Just on about it. They love going in there, looking about, taking a stick. Fucking it out of window. Did I tell you about the time a mate of mine and his dad worked in this factory that just closed down? Mm -hmm. Did I tell you this? No, I don't think so. So we go, he, he was lifting the floor. So like the, the place was shut down and it had this like sort of war, like the type of floor people would like pay for now, to, you know, like herringbone wooden floor. Yes. 
and then they'd have someone warp it and fuck it up to make it look old. This was like a legit one of those. Mm -hmm. So he was like, I'm going to lift this floor. And uh, we were just in this abandoned fucking factory. I can't remember where it was. It was in Belfast somewhere. And we were like, we'll explore. And we're like walking about, went up these steps. <clears throat> it was pitch black, like, and we're walking around, like, found a light switch and the lights come on. And we're like, oh, fucking happy days. And we walked into this next room. Again, completely pitch black. Down there and about. Oh, you know, there was like, it wasn't that scary, but because it was dark, it was fucking scary. And uh, I mean, it just finds another light switch and turns the light switch on. And in the middle of the floor of the office was a giant fucking hole just into the next floor. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, fuck that. We were just walking around like fucking, what's in this room? <laughs> and he turns the light on. It's like a fucking giant drop into the next, into the into the ground floor. And I was Jesus like, Christ. oh, that was, that was, we, we were inches from death there. Aye. Terrifying. You and the cast of Stranger thing is running about Aye. the fucking warehouse. It was fucking great. That's the wrong show. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then there was that other time where, you know, uh, we kicked the football in, over this wall. Um, the, the myth was that there was just a witch living in this house. It was mm -hmm. just an old woman. But I remember being polite and going to the door and knocking the door, see if there was anyone in. And then I was looking in, and all I could see was a sofa covered in pillows. I was like, I don't think there's anyone in. And then the, the couch just went like, <laughs> this woman turned her head, and we all just went, fuck! Like, <laughs> ran away. So just some old woman going, oh, some lovely boys at the door. And they were like, Jesus fucking Christ! A witch! I told you there was blue smoke coming out of her face. Just watch Hocus Pocus. There's fucking blue smoke coming out of her face. Fuck that. It's only a football again, long one. I'm way in. See you later. <laughs> I thought she was a witch because she had like scoliosis. Yeah, it's just because she was 90, yeah. She was probably dying for a bit of company, you know. And I bet a witch. Uh, and we fucking all screaming through the goddamn. That's uh, hilarious. I just thought of one there now. It's my only sort of scary experience as a child. My sister will give me grief about this sometimes. Uh, at the time, she was going out with this fella and they were going to a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was coming to pick her up from, you know, Chateau de McCann. And I was in my Wait, room. Why are you doing this all scary? I was in my uh, spooky, man. We need, a, we need a spooky music one. And I was in my room at the time. Oh, I do have a spooky music. Lined up, boy. Oh, lined up, boy. Um, Tell me a story. I was down in my room, right? Right. On your side? <laughs> no, I haven't. I hadn't discovered the side yet. I hadn't discovered the side. This was pre-side. Yeah. And um, I, was actually, I was playing my PlayStation. And uh, my sister's lover at the time can pick her up because they were heading to a Halloween party <laughs> right now this motherfucker came to the house dressed in a scream outfit oh my god I had the curtains open oh no Halloween night no fear in my tall yeah right me post trick or treating yeah enjoying my treats and bed faded off the dime bars oh <laughs> this motherfucker comes to the window yeah. starts knocking yeah <laughs> obviously I have a fucking mental breakdown as a child, yeah. right? I think I'm gonna die. He's gonna kill my ma. He's yeah. gonna kill my sister, and he's gonna kill me, yeah. right? So I'm like, what do I do? Do I fucking try and like tell my ma? Like, do I eat a couple more of these sweets for a day? What do I do, right? <laughs> and then obviously, fucking Colin comes out. He's like, Sean, stop fucking doing that. <laughs> and then uh, great impression. He he took the he took the mask off. Yeah. And I was like, because I'm a child. Yeah. I'm like, that's not a Halloween outfit. He's actually a murderer. Yeah. Why are you letting him go to? Why are you letting him take her to a Halloween party? Yeah. So Colin goes off of him, and That's I. That's what happens in all the movies. I cried the house down, and my ma had to try and calm me down. I was like, "You just let our sister get murdered, you yeah. dumb bitch. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm about to throw up half a pound of skittles. You fucking bitch. <laughs> it couldn't be more obvious. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight. For fuck's sake, you're fucking working for him. That's what's going on here. <laughs> You're on a side and she's <laughs> <laughs> And then she's like You think I was steering stick yes? <laughs> Do you remember our cat? Jesse <laughs> Meow Enjoy this G You're in the corner of the room <laughs> <laughs> My my granny uh, one time, I don't know who the fuck it was, but she was like, was it one of her fucking, someone she knew, some girl, niece or, I don't know what the fuck it was. And she was like, you know, she was going out with um, someone who claimed that he was in the SAS, right? Now, you know what, this is the 80s or 90s, people full of shit, like. Yeah. 
and uh, she lived in this big house in Port Ballantrae and she said they were at dinner this guy was over with this girl I don't know who, I don't even know who the girl was coming the story correctly mm -hmm. but <laughs> the guy m mid dinner had to leave and get picked up by a helicopter right <laughs> Apparently, and I, we were all sitting here like, mm hmm And then she, she said she came down one night, couldn't sleep. And she went in the kitchen and the kettle was boiling. And she's like, I bet he just was about and came in for a cup of tea. Aye, he was just doing laps in the helicopter. Aye. Came back to the house and put the kettle and on. And she was like, I'm convinced he came in the house and, yeah. and did that. Now, the woman has dementia now. But I think it was creeping in. Yeah. I think it was creeping in at the time. Yeah. I think she got up, boiled the kettle, went back to bed, came back down. Yeah. I was boiling again. I mean, it's pretty spooky to watch a man leave your house in a helicopter. I mean, how, 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 you know, how much do you need a cup of tea? You'd be like, I know a place. Yeah. Since we're hiding in these bushes here. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you want a cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea? Ah, do you want a cup of tea? Let me break into this house and make a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> spooky. Dementia. <laughs> that could be in the Toronto Horror <laughs> film as well. Yeah. Just the kettle is boiled, no one knows how the fucking happened. <laughs> the haunted kettle. <laughs> Barry, did you boil the kettle? No. Burn, burn. You know. It zooms in the tasty uh, milk. Yeah. <laughs> I came down here and the milk was in the cup before the, the water was. <laughs> what sort of nonsense is this? <coughs> I bought a brand new box of tea bags yesterday. Where are they? They're gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to have to go... <laughs> I'm gonna go out, have to go out in a storm to buy new fucking tea bags. Don't do it, Jared. Don't do it. Oh, they're right. I'm gasping. I'm fucking gasping. I have to go. Yeah, I don't do it. Surely you can wait till the morning. The spirits are about. I can't. Ebenezer. I'm, I'm dying. Dying to the truth. I have to go. Jared, please just take a coffee. It's too late. <laughs> I'll never sleep, but sure you can out for three hours in the shop anyway. Jay, please, there's no baskets. I have needs, woman. I have needs. Jerry! <laughs> Come back to me! <laughs> Your tail lights out! It just disappears into the thing. Jerry, my phone's fucked. Don't go to the car. <laughs> so you learned a word last week. I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting there in the morning. I've boiled the kettle dry. <laughs> Turns the tap on, nothing comes out. I've used all the water in the room. <laughs> people coming in, people coming from next door. Teresa, do you have any water? No. Do you have any tea bags? No. I'm awake, coming up on Saturday. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he is it. Let me check the invite. Oh, jeez, right, nothing was very popular about the town. It's Jerry! There's gonna be fucking 80 people here. I told him not to go out! <laughs> I told him not to go out that fucking day. And then it's like a zombie apocalypse. He comes back to the house and she's like, Jerry, so happy to see you back. Get that kettle on. He goes, I don't want fucking tea no more. Oh, no. He's changed! <laughs> he took a turn! He used to, <laughs> he used to love the tea. Now, he, now he's just scared of it. <laughs> he's got tea rabies. You're gonna fool me a water. <laughs> He's in there eating dry tea bags. No! No! We've lost them! Oh fucking hell. Gary's uh, acting wild strange. Why? I see him take a cappuccino. <laughs> but he <I> hates milk. <laughs> it gives him the scats. <laughs> He's not the same, Tracer. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pitch that immediately, BBC and I. <laughs> oh, my God. The Tatley Killer. Jack! This Halloween. <laughs> the Nambari Slasher. Just a zombie hand going for a truck of silage. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Oh dearie me Oh Jesus Christ Google how many people died During the filming of The Exorcist Just for the crack <laughs> Did everyone die during that? Cursed What? I, I think what it was, was yeah L Like literally everybody died Of something hectic 
The curse of the exorcist. The DOP died recently. RIP. Nine deaths. He got that long curse. <laughs> <laughs> Took him years to fucking die. <laughs> I thought that says enormous amount of deaths connected with the foam. She said in the fear of God, but I thought she was talking about it put the fear of God in me. <laughs> Some very directly like the actor Jack McGowan who gets killed in the film. Completed shooting and died. Oh shit. Nine deaths, eh? Nine deaths. Was there like a Superman thing too? Everyone that played Superman died for a while. Or ended up horrifically injured yeah. or something. Very possibly. Hmm. What's like what's like your least favorite like horror movie hack? Where it's like like an old trope that's been done and done and done and every time you see it you're like, ah oh, for fuck's sake. Well, it's the fucking stupid things that people do. Yeah. You know, like the fucking, uh, you know, they open in the fridge and closing the fridge again or someone standing there. All that shit. Not leaving immediately. You know, any any fucking horror movie. We should shoot a horror movie. It's two minutes long. Yeah. Someone's lying in bed, you know, like the conjuring, two hands come out of the thing. And you go, right, we're moving. <laughs> Going to Australia. I was thinking about it for years. We're away on here. I think that's my Australia. This summer. <laughs> Colin Geddes hears one noise in his house, burns it to the ground. I was wondering why so many boys I've had enough. <laughs> were moving to Australia. It's because they're spooked know. out of it. Uh, yeah, that's my version of a horror movie. <laughs> Colin, it's just a drippy tap. No, it's not. It's a demon. I'm torching the fucking house. Come on. To the Ibis. <laughs> oh, fuck. Great location for a horror movie. Oh, terrible. An yeah, tap That would be scary. That's a slasher's wet dream there, all white. Any real horror movie that I like, you know, when like there's there's a you know a, an organization. I'm trying to think of a specific movie where you think they're good people mm -hmm. and then they turn out to be bad people. Aye. I like that sort of shit. Yeah, you know, Jeepers Creepers. I always say was was a great movie till you seen it. Till you seen it was just a big bug, and then you're like, fuck that. Yeah, get the read out. That's most horror films though. They're good, and then the CGI that's monster how, comes that's out. How movie ends. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't know what all the fuss was about. You know, one of them shotguns fire salt. Dead. <laughs> What's your ultimate uh, self-defense weapon in a in a, a house invasion? What would I go for now? <clears throat> uh, fuck, I don't know. Probably like what's well, nearby. Well, the guest room has no weapons at all. You know. No, you're gonna get the weapon. There's a table. I could put him through a table. Yeah. Not throw know. the table at him. You put a put a ghost through a table. You know, or. I suppose right now, if you would just go straight to my law has a collection of very sharp knives, mm. you know, for the students' dick. So I'll probably grab one of them, just butcher it. Yeah, I was thinking shotgun. Aye. That'd be good. <laughs> just We're shoot. no gun household. Not even in the garage. I would like a gun. Yeah. I got sleep better at night if I had a gun. That's fun. Yeah. It is fun to shoot one. I get really into it, you know. I'd, have a, I'd just be, you know, like the fucking headrest of the bed. I'd be like, just press a wee button. Gun comes out. Yeah. Shit, my wife come back from the toilet <laughs> by accident. Pistoria style. <laughs> what a load of shit that was, remember? What was that? He's like, I thought I was being robbed. Yeah, would you, did you not check for your fucking girlfriend for two seconds? No oh, way. First thing I would do, weird noise in the house. Put my hand on the bed and be like, is she in here? Do you know who's very entertaining to watch a horror fall buff? Is my, is my mother. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She loves her favorite film. She hates women and she loves she it. She hates women and it really comes out whenever... So the horror movie kind of style would be house, woman's in the house by herself. Some absolute creep yeah. tries to get in. She'll throw everything at the door. She'll be like, you stupid bitch. Yeah. She tumbles up the stairs and all. What the fuck are you going up the stairs for? Look, you're going. <laughs> yeah. You dumb bitch. Or when they fall, that's always one too. When they fall, like, ah. Yeah. And then they take ages to get up. Yeah. Which I probably would, to be fair. It's like, I, you know. Far off, mate, they get this table. I'd be fucked if I was in the passenger side of a car. <laughs> you know? He couldn't get out quick enough. I could, he could stab the death. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a good horror movie. Well, just a you're in an Uber or something. The guy just locks the doors. Oh yeah, he has the child lock on. He's like, "We're going for a drive." And you're like, "What?" Again, real life like fear. You know, yeah. something that could happen. That's always a scary shit. And he just goes, "Do you want to listen to my mixtape?" Yeah. You're like, "No, I'm all good, man." He's like, 
Are you sure? Yeah. Puts it, puts it in. He's singing. <laughs> Fuck that. Kill myself. <laughs> Seatbelt around the neck. Nah, I'm all good, man. <laughs> oh. That would be a good horror movie. I would be so the guy in real life, you know, in like a hostage situation where I would he like prematurely kill myself and then yeah. they all, everyone else gets away. Yeah. That'd be me. Yeah, there'd just be no patience. I've been captured. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have the patience to be a hostage. And then the police come five minutes later. What happened to him? They kill him. They just couldn't be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could, this guy, yeah, he's all right. He couldn't be fucked. And uh, <laughs> he's like, oh, there's always one. There's Looks to the hard camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a good yeah like a Wayne's World style horror movie. We can just look at the camera. And be like, yeah, <laughs> I run up the stairs there. Shit, <laughs> <Stupid> bitch. <laughs> Aye, there is a scream coming from the lake. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, that would scare the bollocks out of me. You know that sort of like someone's you know having a contemplative moment, yeah. staring in the in the lake, and that face just like oh, like I, a body or something just comes out of it. No one believe you do. You know. <sighs> Well, if it was still there, they believe you. Aye. Come here. Come here. It's just gone. Is that a person? <laughs> you know, get it out. Nah, fuck that. So wait, I, I forgot to ask you, did you ever do a Ouija board? No. No. I Any of you boys? No. I did. Of course, How Mexican did Dave done about That you were fucking about with the Ouija's. All that Mexican business, you know, killing chickens and rubbing their blood in your you face. Love your Ouija, you, <laughs> <laughs> you love your Ouija. You love your fucking demons. You just punch it, don't you? Dave, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> spooky spooky <laughs> yeah as if uh that, that is a point though people are always like why is there no why is there no ghosts you know that are modern uh, you know there's no ghost in a tracksuit yeah <laughs> all right bruv <laughs> b fucking got you the if he's got a really annoying ghost yeah just some spied at the end of your bed some smick <laughs> I'm back to haunt. I'm <laughs> unfinished business, lad. No, it. I think the worst one would be if you had a ghost, right, and it wasn't doing like scary, creepy stuff, like moving stuff and all, but just every so often we just give a wee finger up your ass. <laughs> Which brings me to my story. <laughs> Click into this crazy bitch gets fucked by a ghost. Is it possible to have sex with a ghost? British woman does it <laughs> and is loving it. <laughs> Talk about all worldly sex. How do you say that fucking name again? Am I flaced? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your spelly amos. Your tongue's haunted. I mean, a- amethyst realm. Amethyst realm. A me What? A 27 year old spiritual guidance counselor in England says sex with ghosts is much better than sex with men. Am I right, ladies? Hey, <laughs> you fat bitch, probably. Yeah, ugly. And she should know because she's made love with at least 20 ghouls. <laughs> Realm said on the British TV show She'll be fucked by a ghost This morning Last week that she experienced her first truly spiritual encounter 12 years ago After she and her then fiancé moved into a new home together nah, When she to felt reason. a strange presence It started as an energy Then became physical She tells host Philip Schofield <laughs> Oh, spooky uh, Um there was a pressure on my thighs and breath on my neck. I just always felt safe. I had sex of the ghost. You can feel it. It's difficult to explain. There was a weight and a weightlessness, a physical breath and stroking and the energy as well. Realm said Realm. She, she had a love affair with the ghost for three years before her human lover came home from work early and saw a shadow of what appeared to be a man. Since her first encounter, she has said she has had sex with tw- she has had sex twenty times with various ghosts. You spooky slag! Well, the word's got about the ghost community, hasn't it? Is it possible to have sex with Casper, the little more than just friendly ghost? Experts say yes. People have <laughs> people have the richest fantasies. If they're getting pleasure from that fantasy, then it is possible. Uh, Sussman, who practices in New York, said she has clients with many fantasies and doesn't judge if a client has said he or she has had sexual contact with a spirit. Um, it really is whatever gets you through the night. Uh, 
just just the spooky music and you go, uh, uh, what else? Uh, Pointed out many fables and religious texts that refer to sex of the dead. So this certainly isn't humanity's first time at the sexual rodeo with various... <coughs> who the fuck wrote this? The Onion? <laughs> ghouls and headless horsemen. She added that many people, particularly women, can learn to feel more comfortable with sex through their non-physical sexual experiences. Fucking Mr. Steal Your Girl, hey? Aye. The house ghost? Fucking hell. I'll admit, the test is fucking full of shit, didn't you? <laughs> you turn that fucking music up. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot that was bad. <laughs> well, like... <laughs> Uh, I love it. Experts say it's true. Yeah. She's getting shafted by a ghost. Oh, Jesus. Just when you thought you'd ca- you caught up with these, you know, what women want in the bedroom. A mere mortal man's never made me come. Yeah, get the Ouija board out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like fucking. <laughs> the husband's just lying beside her. <laughs> just fucking flat out of sleep. She's getting her cheeks clapped. I wonder, is it funny, like, you know, if you're, like, switching up positions with a ghost? Oh, why? You know, she's fucking face down, ass up. <laughs> getting them cheeks. Doing a wee ghost spa from the back. <laughs> That'd be such a nightmare if you, were a go- if you were a ghost, but you still had to clean up your jizz. <laughs> you know? Ah, nah, fuck. you just leave it there. <laughs> ghost come? Ah, they blame in the waiter, son. Fucking run about that yogurt again. <laughs> ghost later. Ah, oh, the ghost light. <laughs> yeah, that's what I tell my wife. It's ghost. a ghost one. Half of it you can't see. Invisible. Ghost looter. <laughs> ghost looters. When well, you can't be fucked. Shagging your wife. Who, Who are you, you gonna, gonna call? call? Ghost looter. <laughs> this guy don't, looks like Bill Murray. <laughs> Bucking your wife out of her sleep. Oh, Jesus. Maybe that's what... Who do you want to have buck your wife? Bill Murray or a ghost? <laughs> I don't know, actually. You might come on the podcast. It's a handy affair, like, uh, if you're fucking a ghost. Uh, maybe that's what night tower... You know, night tower is like you wake up before uh, it gets really scary. Yeah. Maybe if you fucking see it through, they're just like... Oh, yeah. You know, sucking you off in bed. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> night terror. Well, I have been, like I've felt the sensation of choking and sleep paralysis. Sexy. I was in it. No, I worry. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, spit my mouth, you fucking ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dirty ghoul. <laughs> the dirty old ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting fucking pulled off in the dark by a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, I take a ghost hand job any day of the week. Of course you is. Yeah. Of course you is. It'd be funny to look down and just see it shifting about without touching it. <laughs> Fire not ectoplasm or fucking go it. Just see a fucking a dishcloth float after. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is the most Aaron McCann visual I've ever had. You just went out check her dishcloth beside the bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not cleaning a pot with it ten minutes later. <laughs> Fuck's on that butter. What is that? That fucking slow cooker is a shit. <laughs> Did you put more salt in that? I put salt in it. It was a ghost. <laughs> you not heard of the goat, the ghost litter? <laughs> there is a, I know Gasper is the OG friendly ghost, but there's bound to be like nice ghost too, like. Yeah. And, and, and when you think about it, that'll be the ghost of a child. Yeah. Scary. Oh yeah. That's even scary. Yeah. Go but on. does it, do you stay the age you die as a ghost? Or do ghosts age? Experts say yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, experts would say yes. <laughs> to be fair, if you are a ghost, that is probably the best existence, just to be fucking <laughs> floating around different households and just getting your dim sum. <laughs> Play a ghost like, what? You know, like, if you're a ghost, uh, that's the best thing to be at. Fuck all oh, this well, that's what I mean. haunting house bullshit. Uh, Get your dick sucked. Well, that's what I mean. Like, she said she's she's been read out by 20 ghosts now. Because uh, your man's your man snuck in the middle of the night, <laughs> fired one in her, and then went back like, ooh. Ghost orgy? Like, there's a free hole over here. <laughs> It's like a fucking ghost gangbang. You know? Fucking 20 dudes stand yeah. thumb on a hard on. A floating teddy bear head? <laughs> <laughs> you should do a hard that fake taxi as well, where the guy is just. <laughs> These all sound like goosebumps books as well. Yeah. <laughs> fake taxi. Where are you going, love? <laughs> Uh, oh fucking hell 
I wonder if you, you know, if you were, if you got possessed by someone who like just absolutely loved murdering people, mm-hmm. and then you were just, you know, you came out of it and you were like, that was great. Aye. To be in that mindset. You got the taste for it. You know, you're like. I don't know about it all up in court though. G- yeah. You know, you should stab four people. I was <laughs> possessed. It gives, me, it, gives, it gives me the horn. Killing people yeah. when, I'm, when I'm fucking, when I'm possessed here. Yeah. Mary loves dick. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Mary loves dick. And that's not going drive home. Oh. That Mary, post Mary loves dick. Yeah. Car ride home. Yeah. yeah. But, but, you know, anything, you know, sometimes like I'll, I'll watch a thing. And I'm on TV, and you you know you can get sucked into certain TV, and mm-hmm. then sometimes I'm a bit like, how did they film that or something? You know? Yeah. So there's literally probably a guy in the dark, you know, just fucking like biting his lip, just being like, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> you know, like fucking. And they have to go in and pretend like it's all legit. No, you ready for this scene? Yeah, Derek, are you? Yeah, just, I'm just getting in the fucking mindset. Mary loves cock. <laughs> Mary loves dick. I've actually never watched a full episode of it. You don't have to. That's the first time I've ever been exposed it, to Nothing it. ever happens. Yeah. They just walk into the room with that wee thing. Going, zzz, zzz, zzz. Mm. Hey, what's that wee machine boy doing? That's contacting the spirits. I don't know. It's some sort of... What, are, what does it do? Measure the fucking... Freak, Hauntedness? Electro the frequency. The, or something. Yeah. But sure, you can walk past the microwave if thing goes off. Focus is an 8.2. <laughs> yeah. The spooky chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's just got an internet speed test on his phone. <laughs> Fuck, this place is loaded with ghosts, man. 105 meg Fucking four ghosts No data Shadow <laughs> <laughs> The upload of the ghosts Is fairly weak <laughs> To be honest <laughs> yeah. Spectrophilia That's what it's called When you get fucked by a ghost Oh nice There's a term for it Yeah I th- I, You know What do you think though? We, we talked about ghost deck But what do you think uh, Ghost post Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Ghost post killer. <laughs> That's for that pop heads. You're welcome. Ghost post. Oh, you take it. Aye. Aye. Why not? The bass train sensation. Though. Yeah. Is it like, uh, you know, the scene in Casper when they're all at the dinner table and they're eating and it's all falling on the floor? Yeah. Is that what the ghost post is like? <laughs> You're busting in the ghost and it just hits you on the feet. <laughs> You know, then you just hear someone pissing on the toilet <laughs> so the ghost doesn't get a UTA. <laughs> 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 oh, there's a man's bust on a woman six times there. <laughs> oh, he's basically a medical professional. Man. I didn't even want to do it six times, I was possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Mary loves dick <laughs> six times. Fuck it out. Six rounds. And the ghost. <laughs> Honestly, sir, I do feel like I was possessed by salt that day because I could never do that again. Uh, never again. Never again. Never again. I'm lightning in a bottle. No, nah, we get the main course, and that's it. <laughs> no dessert or fuck off. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. All right, then oh, here we are. Okay. Sp- spooky stories, haunted people getting fucked by ghosts, all the good stuff. It's minus fifty. Dragon. <laughs> all right, lads. This sounds wild, but I shit you not, it happened. Lies immediately. I grew up in an old Victorian townhouse that at one point in time even had a jail in it. The downstairs of my house used to be the servants' quarters and had very low ceilings. If you were over six foot, you had to tilt your head walking about. My bedroom was above the basement and I'd often hear things getting moved about during the night as if someone was moving furniture, but the room was totally empty. This happened for years. My dog wouldn't cross the threshold into my room either. Anyway, when I was 17, 18, my wee brother asked if we could have a movie night in my room. We both drifted off to sleep, and I was awoken during the night with him shaking on the bed. Next thing, he sits upright, and his right arm is in the air, as if someone is pulling him. (laughs) (laughs) Pulling him up. (laughs) (laughs) Then all of a sudden, he's thrown out of my bed and across the room about seven foot head first into my wardrobe <laughs> when I started Bro, screaming I'm like, you can't read it you can't read like a ghost story with him going in the wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> there's a fucking ghost in the wardrobe lad when I started screaming on my mum he was just sitting against the wardrobe as if he was still asleep 
but saying in a giggly voice, I'm okay, he, 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 he. It was like something out of paranormal activity and definitely happened as I described. I never slept a wink the rest of the night and it was safe to say we never had any more movie nights. What's your thoughts? We're gonna have to pause the music. We can't sorry. do the break though with the fucking sorry, hot the music sorry, playing sorry. Like, What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean it's pretty scary, like Aye. it's pretty fucking uh I mean watching we blow get fucking flung into a wardrobe. But once again, <laughs> shoot shooting, you know, my version of a horror movie. Mm-hmm. The dog wouldn't cross the threshold and the I'm moving apartment. Aye. I'm moving house immediately. Unless you're blasting like fucking just acrid farts into there. Yeah. The dog's like I <laughs> fuck that. But yeah, if it's if the things did she see the guy, the brother getting yanked across the room? Aye, that's what he says. It's wild, but it definitely happened. And it definitely happened. He's seen his wee brother get fucked from the bed into the wardrobe, which is mad, bro. Right, right, right arm up to God, to, yeah, and then just fucks him across. Judo style. Aye, yeah. It was a ghost for life. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if I was a ghost, you know, and I was used to sleeping in my own bed, yeah. and I came back to some teenager, yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> that bit would have freaked out. I have. I'd have like, killed him. Fuck, he's turning again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Mary's <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the only one. <laughs> Love a bit of deck myself. Yeah, move out, move house immediately. Imagine a fucking <laughs> turn farmer's cop gets turned gay by a ghost. <laughs> Come and make son back. That's the back of the DVD. <laughs> Tyrone farmer's cop gets possessed by a wardrobe. You ignorant bastard. I <laughs> don't but gay. Just kill him. I'll even take Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Check the balls, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days do you think it happened or not i mean i would be in therapy for the rest of my life if, if, if that happened to me like, betterhelp.com <laughs> you, you wouldn't you wouldn't be like you know oh we just we just for a bit of crack uh, i was sleeping beside the brother and he gets thrown across the room i'd be like bro i would be every time i got drunk at a pre-drinks i'd bring that story out i would move <clears throat> it's all this victorian house shit yeah move to a new build apartment um, shacking up in the servants quarters Aye. no way <clears throat> my granny had a house had servants quarters because the, the house was ancient like and it was pretty fucking spooky uh, you know it was like home alone a big boiler and all <laughs> the servants quarters sounds like something my law would say passive aggressively yeah because of hospital time tease up uh, should I lonely get into the servants quarters uh, or you've left a fork <laughs> get the air fryer on. you've left a fork beside the sink what is this the servants quarters <laughs> I'll make my uh, own tea I really enjoyed that, that I'm sorry great. that happened to you but that's a, a great fucking story yeah I wouldn't be right <laughs> Oh, your head be lit. Don't be living in old places, you know. If you get a get a brand new apartment. Yeah. Stay in an ibis. Never, never see a haunted ibis. I saw a banshee once. I don't just launch into it, man. So this is how he started. <laughs> <laughs> when I was eighteen, a friend's mother passed is Br- away. Is Bret Hart still alive? <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah. That's probably what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Slash <laughs> Pish <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna fucking get there <laughs> When I was 18 A friend's mother passed away uh, Sorry for your trouble Oh scary And we, <laughs> we stayed in his flat To ensure he was okay He lived in Merval Garden Village And there was about Four of us all 17 to 18 We decided to walk to Tesco Late at night When we exited Merville At the Abbey Centre exit you know where the bus stop is opposite the Abbey Centre. We me, came me and Dave know exactly what that is. We came across a woman wearing a long trench coat, long grey silver hair, walking on the other side of the road. Bear in mind it was about 2 a.m. so we all stopped and thought something was strange. We had a weird feeling of something strange. It felt as if time had stopped. We did what any 17 to 18 year old does and started shouting to get our attention. Hello. Are you okay there? No response. For about two minutes, we stood across the road shouting in her direction. No response. So we started to bang on the bus stop with sticks, which made that metallic sound. While shouting, everything okay there? She slowly (laughs) 
disappeared around the bend, so we decided to follow and see. We followed and walked around the bend to find nothing. The lady was gone. <laughs> Open brackets. She couldn't move that quick. <laughs> <laughs> when we were walking back, it was as if time had started again. Cars were driving up and down, and I remember there, Con in the Abbey Centre working. I believe it was a banshee because my friend's mother had died shortly before this incident. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> 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 She's probably done what I do when I see someone that I know in public. Yeah. Where I just walk around the corner in a Tesco's and then sprint. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out she just had noise cancelling headphones on. <laughs> yeah. The Banshee wore AirPods. <laughs> Beats by a Banshee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did with any 17 year old day. Beat the fuck out of her. <laughs> yeah, <you> witch. <laughs> It doesn't seem like a very haunted area around the Abbey Centre. No. You know? Probably was just a local drunk. Yeah. Or something. What is my, you know, gobs just mistaken out laws for witches? I don't know. Anyone over the age of 50. Oh, I, I saw a witch. <laughs> my auntie's a witch. Everyone's a fucking witch. Ah. Oh, yeah, but that is pretty spooky. Like, but good job you were, you were with your mates. Because if you were by yourself, you'd have fucking soiled your pampers. Okay, we got one more. Okay, I got that music on again for fuck's sake. <clears throat> hey guys, saw you had a <laughs> <laughs> saw you had a story up looking for scary slash creepy paranormal experiences. This is my mother's not mine, but I had to share. My ones were away for a night in Galway years ago, and we were sitting in a quiet bar before the crowds got in. They were drinking at a booth with my uncle and his wife when an older woman, seven days approaches the table and sits next to the table right next to them. She says nothing, does nothing, just stares in the space and after a few minutes she gets up and leaves the table. My mum and auntie go to the toilet and in the stall next to my mum she hears the voice speaking frantically in another language, open brackets, what my ma described as speaking tongues in Catholic. <laughs> what? In Catholic? Or no, sorry, I misread that. <laughs> anyway, what does it say? She says, what well, my mum described as speaking tongues, laugh my ass off, Catholic ma alert. Oh. Anyway, they go back to the table and to continue <clears throat> to have a few more drinks when my mum says she's not feeling well and heads back to the room. She was staying in the hotel nearby whilst my dad and uncle slash aunt head to another bar. Now, this is when things take a turn. <gasps> Mum says she only had two or three drinks in the bar, but had a banging headache and went to sleep. She wakes from a nap and recalls feeling pressure at the end of the bed, as if someone or something was sitting at the bottom of the bed. She turns her head toward the bottom of the bed and sees the silhouette of an old woman sitting at the end of the bed. She goes to turn on the bedside light and looks back and she's gone. She's convinced that woman was in the room that night. But who really knows? <laughs> <laughs> Way to snap out of it. <laughs> well, that is, yeah. It's creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to Ireland. Yeah. To be fair, if you're going to have someone be in your room yeah. while you're sleeping, and I doll's probably the safest bet. If you have to have a fist fight with a ghost? I bet the fuck out of it. <laughs> yeah. No bar. I'd just be an old crazy lady. Yeah. But it, it's one of them things like, <clears throat> do you ever watch something dodgy before you go to bed and then you go, you fall asleep and you're like dreaming the same thing? How dodgy are we talking here? Yeah, you know, like you watch some sort of fucking action movie or horror movie or something. Oh, yeah. And then you go to fall asleep and you're like, oh, I'm on a sinking boat. Yes. I think that's what's happened. She just encountered someone a bit weird. Yeah, you gotta stop watching Titanic before bed. So, so, so my behavior to be like, I only had a couple of drinks. My yeah. head was pounding. A couple of fucking bottles of wine. Uh, you missed. Right? You know? I only had a couple of liters. <laughs> Must have been a spirit. Yeah. I only <laughs> had two or three. <laughs> no. You know me, I only have gin. Once I've had two bottles of wine, don't I? Uh, yeah, I think that's just, it's on your mind and then you go to sleep and there's a bit of pressure. But then that happens in every strange Airbnb you stay in. Yeah. You wake up and you're like karate chopping the air. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this, motherfucker? You know? That hotel I stayed in <laughs> London and woke up, there was a fuck, it was pink rabbit at the end of the bed. Sorry, what? Well, that, that, oh, I know, the decoration. Yeah, uh, yeah. sorry. 
I thought this yeah. was in your mind. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't seeing it. It was actually just there. <laughs> well, it's spooky to be fair. I, was, I didn't want to. Say. Any any extra bit of stuff in a hotel? I'm like, I'm not touching it. That wee jizz throw that they put over the edge of the bed, <laughs> never cleaned. The two spunk pillows, no yes. thanks. Someone's definitely been fucked over this rabbit. Hundred percent. <laughs> So I was like, I was like, I'm not touching this goddamn rabbit. Someone's been role playing as Alice in Wonderland. Like, yeah, <laughs> not a chance. I'm touching that fucking pink rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's had an ear up their arsehole for sure. <laughs> that is spooky. That is spooky. <laughs> that is spooky. Hey, man. You're the ass. We stayed in an Airbnb in Donegal. It was like very nice, very nice house, but it was like way down a lane. Mm-hmm. Never she is. Uh, no, it was like way down this big creepy lane, and then. But you could see the lane go right up to the main road, and uh, twice the same la- or like Land Rover pulled up and stopped at the top of the road and just waited there for about twenty minutes and then left. And then later on, came back and stopped for ages. And oh, I had the whole I had the whole night planned in my head. I was like, get the family into the room furthest to the back of the house. I'll sleep in the one closest to the the kitchen. Yeah. That motherfucker, motherfucker comes in. Some boy just lapping. I'm just yeah. Probably some surfer or something, like, looking at the wave. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But I had him killed nine times over. Yeah. It was like, you come in this house, I'm throwing every one of these fucking Ikea cups at you. Yeah. One after another. I wish you would. I wish you motherfucking would. <laughs> Didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> I was up all night doing kata in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> Damn. You know? <laughs> it's funny the idea of shadow box to prepare for a burglar. <laughs> Oh, please, fuck. That is the tactic, though. You, you try and make yourself look as crazy as possible. Aye. It's like the Bronson thing. Like, imagine someone broke in your house and you just ran at them naked. Yes. Or just immediately <laughs> shit on the floor. Or shit in your hand and just rub yeah. it all over your face and be like, yeah. finally! <laughs> it's happening! And the guy's just like, what the fuck? I was only trying to take your TV. Aye, so if you get burgled, just take a turn on badness and you'll be all right. Just have a. People talk about weapons. Beside your bed, have like a very realistic fake head covered in blood. And fake blood and you squirt all over your face and just turn the lights on and be like, You got here! <laughs> Finally! And the blood's pissing out of the head, like, can I have a hug? And the guys fucking run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, mate. Or like fucking Derek Acora there. Conf- <laughs> confrontation! <laughs> confrontation! And they'd be like, what the fuck is going on there? We just found out during the break time he's dead. Derek Acora, yeah. Yeah. He's haunting people. He has now. become what he haunted. <laughs> Do you think he's got like a, a chat show in the spiritual world? You know, or something like no, that? I can't, I can't wait until the, the next generation of Ghost Hunter mm-hmm. gets possessed by Derek Accor. Yeah. Mary loves dick. <laughs> Again. Still. Oh, what are you, you going to do anything for Halloween or was that this weekend past? <laughs> so intensely there. <laughs> no, we we're doing it because everyone was at home, but uh, oh, nice. you know, we're, we're away to fucking Manchester the next day. Man, he loves dick. That's right. We're away the next day, so I don't know. And also, it falls. Does it fall on a shitty day? It's on a Tuesday. Who gives a fuck? For fuck's sake. Who gives a fuck, anyway? Manchester and Liverpool. Aye. That'll be exciting. That will be. I'm looking forward to that. Aaron's coming with me in yeah. that outfit. <laughs> doping for me at fucking hot water. Mary loves dick. And uh, <laughs> and Manchester. Yeah. Mary loves dick. <laughs> Again, you know. You so want to get here and get some fucking spooky noodles? Yeah. We'll slide over to the Patreon like two ghosts. Uh, <laughs> we take a foot job from that. Well, scaly. Well, scaly. <laughs> and that's it, folks. We'll see you next week. Happy Halloween, too. You sure? Happy Halloween, you bastard. I don't celebrate it. Ghosts, ghouls, the evil Satan. <laughs> Round the button test. Blimey. See you next week. <laughs> Uh, uh, that was a good shit, though. I enjoyed myself. That was a good shit there, though.